Hi guys, and welcome to All Things English. Apparently, there's a lot of you that are preparing to take the IELTS exam soon. Uh, so today, because so many of you requested, we're going to do some shadowing. For those of you who aren't familiar with shadowing, I recommend you start with episode one of this series first by clicking on this link. Um, to really get into the details of what shadowing is, how to do it, and how it can help you improve your speaking skills. For my students and my loyal subscribers, today I'll be describing an invention that changed the world. And once again, um, this is a recent topic from the IELTS speaking test part two. Okay, and um, before shadowing, you'll need to warm up and follow these three steps. Number one, listen and read. So before shadowing me, you should listen to my entire dialogue first and read the subtitles if you want to in order to get familiar with the story and more importantly, to get a feel for the way I speak my pronunciation, my accent, my cadence or rhythm of speaking, and so on. Number two, listen and repeat. So to make things easier, familiarize yourself with the dialogue step by step in small parts. So once again, listen from the beginning, but this time pause the video after a sentence or two and repeat. Do this until the end of the dialogue. And finally, number three, listen and shadow. So now that you're familiar with the dialogue and familiar with the way I speak, it's time to shadow me. All right, are you guys ready? Let's do this. Okay, so let me start by saying that there have been a lot of great inventions that have changed the world in so many ways throughout the course of our history, but today I'd like to talk about the smartphone because, in my opinion, it's probably in the top three greatest inventions of all time. I remember when I was a child growing up in the 1980s and as a teenager in the 1990s, we didn't have the smartphone back then. Come to think of it, we didn't even have the internet back then until the late 1990s. So you can imagine how archaic our means of communication were. There was no such thing as instant messaging or text messaging or GPS. So if you just happened to be lost in an exotic foreign country and didn't speak the language, well, good luck, right? So when the smartphone came out in the late 2000s, 2006, 2007, one of those years, suddenly all these exciting new ways of communication that I just mentioned were born. And nowadays, if you just happen to get lost in an exotic foreign country and don't speak the language, all you need to do is grab your smartphone, open Google Maps, and find your way home. In a nutshell, um, the smartphone changed the world by allowing us to communicate with each other almost any time and almost anywhere and by allowing us to do so many things through just one single pocket-sized device. We can watch movies, record videos, take pictures, pay our bills, do bank transactions, and the list goes on. The convenience that the smartphone has given humankind is unparalleled. Okay guys, so that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, more importantly, I hope you learned something new.
click that subscribe button if you'd like to learn a new English lesson every week and click that like button if you liked this particular lesson. Um, aside from that, have a nice day and I'll see you next time.